Be strong and courageous. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. Have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. I asked the Lord this one question at a time. What makes some people achieve more? Whilst others achieve less, although you have great plans for all of us. One of the answers I received was from the story of Joshua. It taught me that being strong and courageous are key requirements for greatness. All those others in life involves the combination of several factors. Inner strength and the courage to act are always indispensable ingredients in the success equation. Just like the children of Israel. Those who desire to achieve more for God and His kingdom must always gather strength and master the courage to act despite prevailing circumstances and difficulties. Many have missed out on God's best because repeatedly they have walked in fear rather than faith. Others have suffered the same defeating fate because they yielded to the discouragement of the present circumstances. Many of us had have refused to seize certain opportunities because we were afraid to try. This fear is always disguised as petty excuses or a general show of disinterest, but hidden behind the scene most of the time is fear, the fear of failure or of the painful process involved. Others have refused to try again after getting discouraged by initial failure. On several occasions, I've had to ask myself, Hope, what are you afraid of? Who are you afraid of? What is holding you back? Who made you to stop? What made you to stop? To address my own fears and discouragement. Pastor Chuck Swindle, one of my role models, once said, No matter the future promised, it will take strength of character and courage and indulgence. If you desire great achievement in this life, then you'd have to be strong and courageous. This statement, be strong and courageous, appears in this chapter thrice, which emphasizes its importance. When the Bible emphasizes a statement repeatedly and it is worth remembering for the rest of your life. We are to note, however, that the strength the Bible refers to in this scripture is not the one that comes from self. We are to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Our courage to act this power of fears should be because he has assured us of his presence and unfailing promises. Let's be strong and courageous. It is a key requirement for greatness in life. And the things of God. For reflection, in what areas of your life <coughs> are you acting in fear than being strong and courageous? B. How can you adopt the attitude of being strong and courageous in these life areas? Thank you and amen.